If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Gemeter series. In this season 4 episode 3, we are going to learn about JSR223 sampler in Gemeter. Before we see about JSR223 sampler, first let us understand about Java community process. Java community process formed back in 1998 to develop standard technical specs for Java technology. You can learn more about Java community process at jcp.org. Assume that you have a very innovative use case for Java technology. So how do you propose this, your use case to become a standard for Java? That is where you will go to JCP community where you will submit a uh, document called Java specification request. So this is the formal document that will describe your proposed specs and the technology and the community members will review it and based on the protocol defined they will take the action. There are a lot of JSRs available up till now. There are around 927 JSRs available. You can just check it out in jcp.org website. The very first JSR spec is for the real time specification for Java which is JSR1. JSR223 comes from the ID 223 which is the scripting for the Java platform. So this will help you to create a rapport between the Java language and the scripting languages. You can learn more about JSR223 at jcp.org website but eventually it got withdrawn in 2016 December. Because starting from Java 9 IS the scripting platform has been integral part of the Java package so that is why it got withdrawn. From JMeter perspective you can leverage the JSR223 using the three elements. One is preprocessor and the typical sampler and the post processor. You can select the scripting language from the drop down available. JMeter advises to use the Groovy language but apart from Groovy you can use Beanshell, JavaScript, uh, Java, Jexel languages and also you can add the relevant jars to the library folder and then you can select the language in here. And you can write the scripts in the external file or you can uh, write it in your J JSR223 IDE itself. Now let us see a quick demo and let us see how to add the JSR223 to the JMeter and let us see a very high level overview about the JSR223 sampler. This is my sample script. I have nothing added here. Now let us add the JSR223 sampler by right clicking on the thread group. Go to add sampler and select JSR223 sampler. So by default JMeter selects Groovy as the language but if you click you can select Beanshell or Java or Jexel or Jexel2 but if you want to add the supported languages then you have to add the relevant jars to the library folder and you can select here and enter the engine name here. And the parameters helps you to pass the whichever parameters you want to pass and then you can read it in your script. And if the script is too long uh, if, you want, if you don't want to maintain the script in the JMeter IDE then you can write it in the separate external editor and then you can uh, map it here and there is an option to uh, cache your compiled script this will help you to gain the uh, performance wise it will be uh, it will be very helpful if you are unchecking it then it is not advisable you always check the cache compiled script if available and you can use these variables called ctx vars props sampler results sampler log label everything so these things we will see eventually uh, in the upcoming uh, videos but as of now we are just scratching the surface of JSR223 and we are uh, trying to understand what is the purpose and how it is useful for us in our uh, custom coding. So basically whatever features are not available out of the box then you have to write your custom coding to achieve your business functionality. So that is the core purpose of JSR223 sampler and we will see eventually the use cases where you have to write some of the code uh, to achieve your functionalities. That's it guys from my side. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.